Hello and welcome to Sales Ledger Control Account Reconciliations. Uh, this method also works for Purchase Ledger Control Account Reconciliations and pretty much any any reconciliation that you're going to do um, and how to fix errors really uh, within uh, the general ledger. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through um, these questions here um, and the general and the approach and the technique that you're supposed to uh, apply. So. Um, we're going to have some kind of question. Uh, you pretty much have highlighted in blue the information you've been given in in, um, in the question. You got we've got a sales ledger control account figure in here uh, that's been given the total from the from the general ledger, and we got a sales ledger here with some balances. Right. And the first thing that you'll be asked is what's the total of the sales ledger? And so we'll add that up. Let's go through that. So oh, so we've got our debit. And we're going to add that to another debit, and add that to another debit, and add that to another debit, and add that to another debit. And what's happened as well is is that um, they've put a little credit in there as well, just to try and trick you, see whether you could, um, whether you just add the all six of all up rather than just going, no, it's it's those five minus that. That's the balance then on the sales ledger. Yeah. So all of our debits, less our credits. Purchase ledger probably be on the other way, the way around. Then we've got our sales ledger control account. So the question will ask something about what is the difference between the two controls, well sales ledger control account 9010 and so then our difference is just taking those two away okay next question then you're going to have as part of it is they'll give you a series of scenarios and they'll say is this the reason for the difference and you'll be tempted to be looking at this difference in here you're probably already doing it looking down here and trying to go oh is it a is it b is it c is it d and crossing ones out and what have you and really sort of just trying to sort of think in some form of algebra or maths or whatever in terms of mental arithmetic in your head and do that and well as you probably guessed by now um, i like to sort of say well no there's not there's a technique that we're going to use here and we are so what we're going to do is step one here we do two t accounts sales ledger control account and t account and the sales ledger in a T account. And we put the total in the sales ledger control, in the sales ledger control account one, and the total in the sales ledger in the sales ledger one. So we've got our two T accounts and that's step one. Step two, we look at our scenario and we decide what journal would have been posted to create that scenario. So let's look at this one. An entry posted twice into the sales ledger, but the journal only posted once into the sales ledger control account. So what would have happened then is debit, then the sales ledger, and that would have been twice. So that would have been this difference times by two. And the other one would be the sales control, and that would have only gone in once. So there you know. And that is step two. Okay. Step three. We're going to do we're going to reverse these journals out of these two accounts so in the sales ledger if we debited debit had gone into there to produce that so somewhere there would be a 1618 in here to get down to there let's do the opposite then let's let's reverse that out so it's no longer in there so a credit of 1618 and let's reverse the other one out 809 and then let's redo so that's step three and we redo our, our control accounts. So what are the balances now on our control accounts having taken out the journal that they've described? So that's that one. So our carry down is so and our brought down is that. And here again, our carry down. Oh, So I carried down is that, which means that our brought down is that. Okay. Step four. We now compare the two accounts having taken out that journal, and are they the same? And if they're the same, then we know we're right. So here we are. They're the same. So that one is the right answer. Okay, so that's how you do it in terms of four steps. You can see here, I did not think. The only point, point where I, I sort of had a half think 
was just what was the journal that was posted here. I just, well, it describes me the journal, so it's posted twice into the sales ledger, so two debits in the sales ledger and one debit into the sales ledger control account. So I just un undid that. You know, that was only that was I mean that was half of the thing, but it certainly wasn't trying to sort of take this number here and then work it out from there and try and work out what just too much thinking and too much stress about it. Um, now you might be there thinking, well, Michael, that's all well and good, and you're showing me a technique um, for the exam. Is that for the exam only, really? And this wouldn't be how you do it in real life. Um, I just think it think it through and come up with the answer because I'm um, a chartered accountant. Um, no. That's not how, how I would do it. The, the fact, well, I've done exactly how I would do it in real life. Um, so very much in terms of this technique, very much getting these tier counts in here, working out what the journal is, reversing it out there, and then doing it, it properly. Um, in real life, actually, when I had to do this kind of thing, I would be simply ticking every journal off uh, and checking it. Um, so I just recheck re every journal, reverse them out, and, and that's how you would work it, which is why it's very painful to have errors in, in a finance system when you have to go and find them. Um, so that's our answer for number one. Let's take this out then. I think I'll leave I'll leave that in and we'll see whether, whether that, 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 will, that will help in terms of the calculations now. So we've already done step one, we put our control account together. Uh, let's do number two. A journal posted to the sales ledger control account but omitted from the sales ledger. So debit sales control. And we've gone eight or nine there. So that is going to go, um, we're going to reverse that one out. And we haven't got anything going into the sales ledger. So we're just, there's no, no journal to come into there. Are they now the same in our step four? No, they're not. So that one must be wrong. Okay. And let's delete those out. Start again with the last one. An error of commission between Jones Limited and Fred Limited. So what we did was we went debit. Jones in the sales ledger um, 809 but we should have we should have um, put it into Fred so let's take out Jones 809 over here and put it into Fred 809 and then let's rework out what our, our, our new brought down would be um, Oh, sorry, I'm put that back into there. Sorry, 500. Our new brought down would be that minus that. And our new sales ledger figure is going to be... Oh, sorry, wrong point. Let me uh, just put that at that as well. Sorry, our new brought down figure for Fred is going to be that. That's our new brought down for Fred. And that's our new brought down for Jones. Um, and then let's redo our sales ledger figure. So it's that, and that, and that, and that, minus that, and that. So it's made no difference whatsoever, which it wouldn't do because it's simply an error commission into here. So the sales ledger still um, added up. No differences here. So, but going through the technique, those are different, and that is wrong. A journal posted to the purchase ledger account and to entry to the sales ledger. So we went to the purchase ledger, debit, purchase ledger control account, 809, and we went debit, sales ledger. Nine. Okay, so let's reverse these ones out. So we put that into there. This one's going off into the purchase ledger somewhere else in here. So we reverse that out and we compare them. So that one is correct. Oh, change that one, recolor that. So those two were right and those two were wrong in this instance. So let's have another another try. Let's do another one just to get this all nailed down. So here's a new set of figures in here. Um, we've got our sales ledger. Here 
here. And let's add that up. So our debits, and we got some all of our debits in here. And they're giving us a credit item, credit item again over there. So that's our sales ledger in here. We've got our sales ledger control. That's 13750. And our difference then is 1600. And so we now, step one, put the figures into our two T accounts. So we've got two T accounts, sales as control account, uh, ooh, sales as control account, there. And we've got our sales ledger here. Oh, sorry, I pressed the page down. Okay, right. So, number one, entry posted twice to the sales ledger. So, debit, sales, sales ledger. Twice, so that times by two. And debit the sales ledger control account. Just the once. Okay, so that's our step two. And step three, let's reverse out those journals. So here, sales ledger control account would be that. And the sales ledger would be that one. And then let's rebalance our T accounts. And so our carry down is that. And our brought down is that. So that's our new brought down there. And then here. So I carried down is that, and I brought down is that. Are they the same? No, they're not. So that is the wrong answer. Okay, let me take those those two out, and then we'll have a try at number two. A journal posted to the sales ledger control account, so debit, sales ledger control account, but omitted from the sales ledger. Okay, so 1,600 sales ledger control account, and I have nothing in the sales ledger. So we'll reverse out this journal here, and then we'll check if they're the same, and they are, so that is the right answer. Now we've already in the last one did this error of commission. And we knew that that was not the answer because that doesn't change um, the sales ledger at all. It just moves it between uh, accounts, so that's not going to do anything there. Let's do the last one then. A journal posted to the purchase ledger control account. So debit, purchase ledger control account. And an entry to the sales ledger. Sales ledger, so... Both of them the, the ones in the 600. So we reverse out the one that we've got, which is the sales ledger here. The purchase ledger is over somewhere else, another T account. And then do they balance? No, they don't. So that one is wrong as well. So that was how to do um, a reconciliation between your control account and your ledger. And um, what you can see as well is, is that there wasn't any kind of thinking and looking and trying to work it out um, with a bit of algebra. Trying, I think that that was just a straight up technique of putting putting into the control accounts here. So setting up two T, uh, so so into two T accounts here, then working out what the journal is, then reversing that journal out, um, and then uh, moving forward. So I'm sorry on this one, uh, it should have been like that. Um, so they're not still not the same. Uh, then reversing the journal out here, and then checking the balances brought down. That's all that's required, really, for those very very sort of methodical approach to it. Um, hope you find that useful, and uh, good luck. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.